And new at four as well, Blue Origin says its new Glen rocket is ready to launch. But before that happens, the company needs regulatory approval. And Channel 9's Melanie Holt is live at Jetty Park. And Mel, that big rocket remains on the pad, at least for now. Still at Launch Complex 36, which is about six miles from the park where we're standing here right now. And pending those approvals, Blue Origin sounds pretty confident they're ready to launch before the end of the year. From Port Canaveral's Jetty Park, Blue Origin's New Glen rocket sits in the distance, waiting for regulatory approvals for a hot fire and then maiden flight from Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. Earlier this week, teams performed a tanking test on the heavy lift rocket. You know, Blue Origin has been working towards uh, the launch of their orbital uh, rocket, uh, the New Glen, uh, for a number of years now. And so we're about ready to finally see the first test flight. Blue Origin says that could still happen before the end of the year. But it's uh, also an important milestone and an important thing for the space industry to, um, to have another viable launch provider and uh, launch company uh, providing this uh, capability here on the Space Coast. The New Glenn's first flight will carry the Blue Ring Pathfinder, a transfer vehicle that will help enable future Department of Defense missions. As I understand it is that it is a, a capability to uh, maneuver payloads. Uh, and these could be scientific payloads or probably more specifically maybe even military payloads um, between different areas in space, essentially different orbits. And uh, maybe even provide some logistic support like uh, uh, eventually servicing of, uh, of satellites that are already in orbit. Before liftoff, the rocket already has a list of customers, including Amazon's Project Kuiper, NASA, Telesat, and others. And Blue Origin CEO posted earlier today that that tanking test for the New Glenn rocket is over and everything looked normal. Live here at Jetty Park, Melanie Holtz, Channel 9, Eyewitness News.